this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate demographic data. Um, and so for this, this is an example data set, but you'll find that it is very similar. This is a previous semester um, that is doing the final project. And so you have different tables. You have a demographic table that you're going to fill out, and it's going to be the data that we collected as a class. Um, but you'll notice that it's the same idea where we have multiple variables that are categorical um, and we're going to put information about um, who's in our sample. So for this table, this is set up in APA style and it's linked to the, um, to the template that you have for the project. So here you can see that the variable name is here. Um, the first one is biological sex for this data set. And then the two levels of it are male and female. Um, we didn't have any responses that were intersex. And so that's not um, listed there. For gender identity, we have man, woman, non-binary, other missing. And then socioeconomic status is also categorical. So this column right here, we want to put how many times people identified as male um, at birth and people identified as female at birth. And then we would have the percentage here. So we're gonna get this data from this spreadsheet um, or from this sheet in this workbook. So here you can see there's biological sex and there's gender. And so what we wanna do is we wanna count the number of times that the, um, that the category is female and so we can go to this table one and right here we can put, um, sorry, not right there, right here. So where it says male. So we're gonna find all of the ones that say male. So I'm gonna say equals count if. And so equals count if, you can see here that I can click on this formula if I want to. And if you ever get confused about what goes on, you can turn on the formula help right here. So it's telling you the range that you're going to select and then the criterion or what the qualification is to count it, which in this case would be male. So we can say count if, we can go to our data analysis and notice that it's still there because it's still open, it's still an open formula. Um, we're counting for biosex, so I'm going to click this column right here, and so you can see that it's identifying that it's this sheet and this column, so it's going to check the entire B column, and then I'm going to do comma, and for the criterion, I can do it two ways. I can say equals male, and type it in, and it's in quotations because it's a word, and so for it to... Um, to work with that data to identify it, you need to identify that it's a word. So when I close parenthesis and press enter, you can see that it's gonna count the number of times that the word male comes up. The other option that personally I prefer is that I can reference this cell right here. So I can say, instead of putting male, I can delete that whole thing and I can actually just reference this cell and it's gonna count the number of times that the word male shows up in this column right here. Now, the reason why this is nice is that um, I can go ahead and drag this formula down. And this is only gonna work because I have the entire column highlighted there. Um, otherwise it might, if you started at like B1 or B2, it would drag it down because it would be a relative cell reference, but this is good, we can do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hover over the bottom. Um, so I've clicked off. I've just clicked onto it, hover over the bottom so it turns into a black X, and then I can drag it down and it's gonna look for female in that same column because now it's referencing that and you can double click on it to see that it's referencing that. That's what I mean by a relative cell reference is that when we drag that formula down, it changes relative to the, to the row that it's now on. Um, now we should also identify if we have any missing, um, and so we can we can do this here actually. Um, we go to insert row above. Actually, let's just do a quick. We can just easily. It's a small data set. Um, so our total number is 103 people because we have one row out of 104 that's just a a title. So we have 104 people. Um, and so we want to identify what percentage of 104 each of these is. Um, so our total, I have this total row here, I'm gonna put 104. 
And that's not 104. So we have some missing responses. And you can, if you ever want to check it off to the side, you can say equals that plus that. That's 103. So we're missing somebody. So we need to add a row. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, insert one row below. I'm just going to say missing. So that way we can identify that there's someone who's missing. Um, excuse me. Uh, so then we can do this different ways. Um, you could just go ahead and say equals 104 minus this value minus that value. And so that comes up as one. Um, you could also count the number of blank responses. So I can drag this down and I could just go ahead. Um, I would need to just do it through the specific rows that I'm looking at. So I was just looking at B through B104, but I could count the number of times that there's a missing response. Oh, it's not gonna work for me. Oops, that's why. B104, nope. For whatever reason, that doesn't wanna work. This must be a Excel versus Sheets thing. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use my previous example. Um, there we go. So I'm just, again, I'm using that total and I'm subtracting. Um, so for this, uh, for our percentage, how this works is that we want to reference, um, either reference the cell, the 104 value, or we can just go ahead and, and use 104. So I'm going to say equals, and it already knows what I'm going to try and do here, but I'm going to equals, I'm going to click on this value right here, and then I'm going to divide it by 104 and notice that it shows you already that it's doing a percentage and it's set to be a percentage. I'm going to not autofill this. It's set to be a percentage already, but if it for some reason isn't, so somebody, let's say that it's on number, um, you can just click up here on format as percent and it'll fix it. So that's one way to do it. I took, I went ahead and said this equals this value divided by our total of 104 gives us our percentage. Um, the other option, it's a little bit more complicated, but it's it's a better way to do it because it's automated. Um, I want to say that it's that value divided by that value, and it gives us the same option. Now, the key here is that I need to lock, I need to make it absolute cell reference for row 18 so that it keeps referring to this total right here. And so I'm gonna put a dollar sign right in front of it. Now, when I do that, it allows me to drag down my formula so that it still refers to that. So I'll go through this in class. And again, this is a different data set, so you're gonna have to use different information. Um, but you will be filling out this entire table with information um, for this demographic table.